VR people, welcome to a cool tech video. As a special treat for VR viewers, I'll be giving away a different VR game in each tech video. Keep watching to find out more. Here's me back in September 2020 filming a VR boxing video in an echoey gym. I think you're struggling to have a conversation. Here's me again back in October 2020 trying to film a video outdoors on a windy day about racing a real life cyclist using VR. Nice and clean. <laughs> the only thing I had both times was my phone. I do wonder how many people had to leave those videos because they had no idea what we were saying. It was around this time I started looking at different audio solutions. After a lot of research, I decided that what I really needed was a pair of wireless lavalier mics. And they have been an absolute game changer. <laughs> Now, if you stream anything remotely active or need to record your voice for YouTube, I cannot recommend these enough. In this video, we'll be looking at the Comica Boom XD2 wireless lavalier mics. We'll test their range, how they do indoors and outdoors, in the wind. We'll even see if we can use them to make a wireless boom mic. I'll also explain why I chose these rather than other well-known brands. Welcome back to the little VRC channel where we do VR stuff with a sprinkling of tech. Don't forget to sub and hit the bell so you don't miss a video and you get me as a new best friend. As a treat for any VR people watching, keep watching this video to win the awesome rhythm game Synth Riders. If you love Beat Saber, then you're going to love Synth Riders. It's different, but just as good. You'll be riding on a wave of awesome synth wave music, but not only that, loads of other artists like Muse too. Trust me, it's a great game, and it's now on PSVR as well as PC and the Quest 2. Details at the end of the video, how to win your copy. Make sure you keep watching. So let's take a look at these lovely little mics. Well, they come in this really nice case. It's not a charging case, more on that later, but it protects everything really well and it has room for all the accessories that come with it, of which there are plenty. There's nothing worse than having a case that doesn't hold everything, which is why I've discounted the Saramonic Blink 500 Pros. They come with a really convenient charging case, which holds the receivers and the transmitters, but it doesn't hold anything else. So, the accessories you'll keep in the case will be a pair of dead cats. <coughs> Wind protectors, which clip over the receivers really nicely and can also go over the included pair of clip-on lapel mix that have a nice locking mechanism to keep them securely fastened to the transmitters. You also get a three-way charge cable, so you only need one USB-A slot to charge all three bits. As you can see, I like to use a power brick when charging up stuff. The brick of power. And finally, you get three 3.5mm jet leads to connect to a camera or audio recorder. One of them is suitable for certain Sony, Panasonic and Fujifilm cameras, but for my Sony ZV-1 camera, I find that I'm getting better sound with the one recommended for Canon and Nikon. Nikon? 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 The final one is meant for smartphones with microphone jacks. The final thing I'd like to show you that doesn't actually come with the rest of the stuff is one of those SIM removal tools that you get with phones. I'll keep one in the case as there's been a few times where I've accidentally unpaired the transmitter from the receiver and a quick jab solves that problem. Oh, you also get some silica gel to keep it nice and dry. What kind of gel is this? Talking about pairing, they come ready paired. You can run them in stereo mode, so each mic has a separate channel, or you can run them in mono mode, so audio from both mics appear in both channels. And of course, you can just use one of them. You don't have to use both of them. You can control the volume boost of each mic individually from the receiver, and each transmitter has the aforementioned reset hole, a pairing button, a mute key, and a USB-C charge port, which is actually a nice feature, because for example, the wireless mics from Holly and lock come with a nice charge case but because that's the only way to charge them then they can't be charged whilst in use so if you run out of battery you have to wait them to charge up again in the case not a problem with the boom xds wait a minute what is a receiver and a transmitter well, the person doing the talking will wear the transmitter. The transmitter is this little box that has a mic built into it. The mic picks up the sound and transmits it to, that's right, the receiver, which sits on top of your camera using the clip and using the audio out. It sends the audio into the camera. Oh, and guess what? It's also got a headphone out so you can monitor the audio, a great feature for cameras that don't have it. Cool, that sounds sh So let's do a field test. Where should we go? I know, a field. Out there. 
First we headed out to show that they can be used well outdoors and also with the two transmitters really far apart. All audio has been left totally raw with absolutely no editing. So this is exactly what was picked up with the mics. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the mics right now to do this voiceover. So uh, at the moment we've got the wind muffs on. Yeah. So not only does it go pretty far away, we've got the audio from this phone as well so we can see what that's like. It's not mega windy, but we do have a windy test in Barmouth. So if you want to look at that, is that now so it is proper windy and i've got the wind muff on the comica boom x and uh so we're testing it out we don't know what it sounds like at the moment we'll have a listen to it soon now ah! there's a little <laughs> boy behind me as you can see if you're doing on location shooting this is kind of perfect for that let's take the wind muffs off you want to take Doink. them off that's it the way out of the wind muffs now might not notice any difference yeah my wind muff is off as well but these are pretty good they just flip over the top and like it uh, goes really well let's go back to the camera it's like a little finger hat. Then we headed inside to test out the lapel mics for those who want a more discreet microphone. The dead cats can also be fitted to the lapel mics to give them great outdoor windy performance too. Sadly, my transmitter actually ran out of batteries and I didn't know about it. It would have been handy if there was some kind of audible beep when this happens, or a slap round the face, anything. Wireless lavalier extension to the Comica Boom sound. Um, I don't know. We're going to find out yeah. when we listen to this back. We've got no idea. We don't know. The battery life is actually pretty good at four hours for each unit, but I did get a bit lazy with the charging. Admittedly, something that probably wouldn't happen if they actually did come with a charge case. Back to the outdoor performance, and one of the reasons why the lavalier mics are so good when filming outdoors is the fact that they always remain close to the subject. <laughs> You well. look crazy. La 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 Even a decent mic, like the Rode Video Mic Go, suffers when there's more than about a metre between the mic and the subject. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Now, while we have the video mic go out, wouldn't it be cool if we could just plug it into the Comica Boom to make a makeshift wireless boom mic? Because it does have, after all, an audio in, which is actually meant for the lapel mics, but let's try plugging something else in. Look at it, it's plugged into the Comica Boom, and the Comica Boom is just uh, strapped, and that is strapped onto a selfie stick. Selfie stick, I'm gonna remember to talk into this, because the other one ran out of batteries. <laughs> So, um, we're going to stand here, so let's pretend that Jess is a news reporter, stand there. Okay. Breaking news, Rick's lovely other half Claire is coming to our house and we will be having a Beat Sabre marathon and I'll be introducing her to a couple of wonderful new games that she's never played before. But hang on a sec, yeah. why would you have to spend 50 quid on this when maybe that would just do it all on its own? So, as I was saying in the previous video with slightly different setup, Claire is coming round tonight and we're playing Beat Saber. We're also going to play the kitchen diner game, so I don't know if you've ever played that. Someone's in the kitchen. Diner duo. Diner duo, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Not only can you plug other things into the Comica Booms, but you can plug the Comica Booms into other things. The same goes for most wireless systems, but rather than plug it into a camera, for example, you could plug it into a field recorder to wirelessly pick up two people. For example, if you were using an action camera with a terrible microphone. This is so wizarding. So there we have the Comica Boom X D2, the amazing little wireless lavalier microphones. So why did I go for the Comica Booms? I've already mentioned why I chose it over the Hollyland and the Saramonic Blink 500s. The other reason is the price. They retail at £225 on Amazon, but I got them on an awesome deal when they went down to £144. This is also the reason why I chose them over the Rode Wireless Goes. The other contenders were the original Saramonic Blinks, which are usually around 189 on Amazon. They sound really good, but obviously I managed to get a better price than that. I'd also heard that the battery life could be a bit better. So that's it. I honestly can't recommend these ones enough, and I did buy these myself. They weren't given for free to review. They've pretty much replaced all my other microphones and given me so much more freedom to record on the go. Links to these are down below, along with all my other favourite YouTube and VR gear. So if you've made it this far, thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate it, especially if you're a VR viewer and you're just watching it just for the entertainment, because talking about microphones is really entertaining. So here's details of how to win your copy of Synth Riders. Simply make sure you subscribe to the channel and have liked this video. Let me know your favourite microphone in the comments. If you don't have a favourite microphone, just say that you like the phony Sony. And don't mention the giveaway in the comments. Remember the fewer people 
people that enter, the more likely you are to win. Then in about two weeks, I'll pick one of the comments at random and let you know who has won in a tech video that comes out around then. You can win the game on Quest or Steam for PC headsets. And remember, every tech video, I'm going to do a VR game giveaway from now on just to say thank you for supporting them. And that's the end. If you found this video helpful, a thumbs up would be grand. And don't forget, it is totally free to subscribe and even more free to ding the bell. That was a VRC video. I'd love to see you next time. Take care of yourselves and see ya. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're doing. I am. <laughs> <laughs>